<laughs> hold up for a minute. I let me let me get situated. Let me let me hold on. Hold on. Y'all let me get situated. going on what's up out there YouTube what's good you know oh man hey first um, first and foremost I like to say thank you to all the new subscribers that's coming on to my uh, channel I really do appreciate you guys you know rocking out with your boy um, I'm hoping the content that I'm bringing to you guys is good you guys enjoy it and um, and continue to uh, rock out with me for the uh, new subscribers and everybody else that's new to my channel and all like that hey why don't you do your boy a favor and hit that subscribe button and that like button and that uh, and that bell and everything you know let YouTube know that you guys rocking out with your boy I'm on my way on my way to a thousand you know what I'm saying it may not be much but it's a good milestone for me you know what I'm saying I'm aiming high you know what I'm saying so that's why I keep doing these videos for you guys you know no matter what type of video I make you know whether it's the it's the trucking adventure or the trucker's thoughts or the news you know what I'm saying you know you guys you guys is interested in the content that I do all right so enough enough of all that man enough of all that today's father's day y'all you know what i'm saying it's a day for us fathers out here and you, you gotta excuse my voice it's a little it's a little on the tweet side you know what i'm saying i, I think i'm coming down with something but I'm, I'm beating it, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get a, trying to get ahead of it by, uh, by uh, you know, getting getting some medicines and stuff like that. Being that I'm a truck driver, I can't take any type of medicines. I gotta make sure I'm legal within the medicines that I'm taking. But anyway, today's Father's Day, uh, day for fathers. You know what I'm saying? I'm a father. Uh, my son, he'll be 21 years old next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. I'm, I'm kind of salty that I won't be there to celebrate with him because right now I'm on this load and we're trying to figure out what the freak to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Whether or not they're going to send the repower to come and get this boy or have me to just drop it tomorrow morning. It's already late. You know, and I've been talking to them back and forth on the SATCOM all day yesterday, all day today. As soon as I got up, they started started hitting me up. Where you at? Where you at? We're working on the repower, all that stuff, man. I don't know what's going on. Uh, happy Father's Day, like I said before, to all you fathers out there that's doing the damn thing. Why? This is why I'm making the video, because I want to give my thoughts on how people perceive fathers on Father's Day. See me, it's Father's Day every day. You know what I'm saying? I don't just I don't just be a father on this day. I don't even know what today is. I know today's Sunday, but I don't know what the date is. I'll, I'll check it out in a minute. But anyway, it's, it's Father's Day to me. It's Father's Day every day. When I wake up, it, it's not like tomorrow I'm not going to be a father. You see what I'm saying? Tomorrow I'm going to be a father tomorrow. I'm going to be a father the next day, the day after that. So it's Father's Day every day. You know what I'm saying? You know, they just want to just make this one special day for us. You know, just to acknowledge us and all like that. Acknowledge us every day. You know what I'm saying? Not just June. You know what I'm saying? Not just the summertime. You know, not just one day that everybody just up and get up and say, hey, it's Father's Day. Let's, let's acknowledge all the fathers. Bump all that. Acknowledge me every day. Let me let me break it down. Let me, let me break it down right quick. Give me a second. I'm about to break it down. Let me break it down for you guys right quick. You know what I'm saying? On, on, on my thoughts on Father's Day. And um, 
you know you can check it you can check out my post on my uh on my facebook post as well so check this out y'all check this out all right to be a father one has to make sacrifices you know what i'm saying sacrifices that that some of us don't want to make sacrifices that that we know that we're gonna have to take in order to make sure that our kids are well taken care of, you know what I'm saying? One has to make the hard choices, you know? I mean, it's a lot of stuff for us guys out here that's taking care of kids. It's, it's a lot that we undertake to have that responsibility, you know what I'm saying? And that responsibility which God has given us is hard. And, and like I said, you have to make the hard choices to, uh, to do that. It don't seem fair to you. Uh, it don't seem fair to me of the stuff that I have to do. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta drive this truck every day. More from when I get up in the morning to when I go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta drive this truck every day just to make sure that my child and my and my home back at home is well taken care of. You know what I'm saying? My son will be 21 next. I mean next week. Of course he's a grown man. He can go out and do what he need to do. You see what I'm saying? My job, my job should be done, but it's not. You see what I'm saying? That's what a father is about. Your job is not done when your son or daughter is, is of age that they should start taking care of themselves. In that child's eyes, they, they only see the person that's taken care of. When you hold your baby in your hand, you know what I'm saying? And that baby takes his first look at you. That baby ain't thinking nothing but seeing that person, that father, that that man for the first time and that and that instills in that child right there that this is the person that's going to take care of me for the rest of my life. That's all that child sees. That's all that child cares about. It's really hard for some fathers to take responsibility. It is. There's a lot of guys out here that's that's the that's the epitome of baby fatherhood. Let me explain. Let me explain. A lot of guys I know personally uh, have child support. And I mean a lot of child support. 90% of the guys out here that I know personally pay child support. In the back of my mind, I'm going like, Jesus Christ, man. You, you paying, and I've seen some of them checks. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> them checks is ugly. When, when the court get involved, we'll, we'll try to take care of your kid, it gets ugly. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens, man. Oh my God! Yeah, that's what happens. Where's my money? You gonna give me my money? Where's my money, man? I've I seen a guy with a with a sixteen hundred dollar paycheck, and the only thing he got left in it is two hundred dollars, dude. That that's like, look, I'm not. I don't know what happened or what was the situation, but look. For some of the guys out here that's really, that's really dead beatish, come on fellas, it's time to step up. Step up to your, step up to the plate. I understand that you and the mother have problems. I understand you and your wife separated. I understand you and your significant other don't get along with each other. But, don't take it out on the kid. Don't take it out on the kid. You want to know? You want to know what make it? What, what makes it hot? Is to get along enough for that kid. Let that kid know that you still love him. Let that kid know that, hey, fuck your mother. 
I'm here for you. See what I'm saying? Don't let your bitterness towards your baby's mama, wife, whatever. Don't let that affect you on how you feel for your kid. Now there's some guys out there that feels that way. They say, they say, hey, fuck it. I don't want to be bothered with that. I don't want to be bothered with her. I don't want to be bothered with the kid. That that's understandable. I hear you. But I, I tell you what, when the courts get involved, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? It's a wrap, man. They they're gonna take your money. They're gonna take your they're gonna take they going here's here's the thing, man. They gonna take your ability to take care of yourself and or that kid may uh, need be. You wanna know how they're gonna do that? They're gonna take your money. And they're gonna take your license if you have it. License suspensions. Your driver's license and your business, trade, or professional license can be suspended. You may be unable to get a fishing, boating, or hunting license. They're gonna take your ability to get back and forth to the job that you need to pay them so they can pay your kid. Come on, man. Come on. So, look, fathers, get on your grind, man. Get on your job. Get on your hustle. It's, it's hard for fathers to take that responsibility. There's a lot of you guys out there. For those that do, for those that do take that responsibility, the reward is great, man. I'm telling you, the reward is great. The reward is seeing that baby grow up into the man that he is, the man or the woman that they are today. And that child will thank you for it. There's a lot of kids out here, a lot of them, oh, a lot of them, a lot of them doing robbing, stealing, Game banging, all that craziness that's getting them land in jail at an early age, man. Kid, kid getting locked up for shooting somebody and killing somebody going away for a quarter to life. You know what I'm saying? They they 18 years old, they they life is a wrap. Because they they probably didn't have no fathers in their life to show them the way. Now, I could have went that route. I didn't, my, my father wasn't in my life. But I did. I, I, I did teeter-totter on some craziness when I was young. You know, crazy. But I, I knew when I became a father, I wanted a better life for my son. So that means that I had to get on my grind and make that happen. The mother and father may not be together no more. The core family is broken. Yeah, the, the mother, the father, and the child is the core family. Um, whatever reason that, that breaks that core, the mother, the father separates, mother to father divorce, mother to father splits, that core is broken and it hurts the child. Luckily for me, my child was already of age to understand what was going on between me and his mother. So it didn't, it didn't hurt him as much as it would have if he was like 15, 14 and younger. You see what I'm saying? But as long as you have as long as you have children, you still got a family. You see what I'm saying? That's the good thing about it. You still got a family. That child shares your last name. That child shares my name. See what I'm saying? You still got a family. Fathers are the strength of 
their sons and daughters. And as my son is my backbone. My son is this right here. My son got my back as I got his. You see what I'm saying? We are the strength of the kids, man. The kids, the kids sees us as the strong men that we are. That we go out there, we do what we got to do for our family. We do what we got to do to make sure that they have clothes on their back, food in their mouths, a house or a roof or, or a caddy shack over their heads. They see us doing that. They see us working every day. They see us going out. I don't care if you, I don't care if you, uh, look, I don't care if you're a hustler or, or a factory worker or just some Johnny O sweeping up the storefront. They see you doing that. They see you working hard for them. They see that. Your kids see that, fellas. Today's Father's Day. Father's Day for every, it's Father's Day for all us fathers out there. But every day should be Father's Day to the ones that's taking care of their kids. It's not going to stop y'all just because today is Father's Day. We still got if we get if God willing, we're going to get up tomorrow morning and we're still going to be a father. If God willing, we'll get up the next day. We're still going to be a father. It ain't going to stop. Acknowledge Father's Day every day, fellas. Everybody. All right? Just like I said, everybody. Finish up this video because I really want to get it uploaded today. Uh, about time it might be published. It probably might be published tomorrow and the day might be over with, but it's still significant. So I want to hurry up and, and edit it out a little bit and and get it up for you guys. To all the fathers out there, to all the fathers out there that's still taking responsibility, making the hard choices, making the bitter sacrifices, I say happy Father's Day every day. All right? Happy Father's Day every day, okay? Stay up, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit me up in the comments below if y'all want to talk to me. See me in the streets, holler at your boy. Lockout men, and I am out.